And man mode apocalypse just started. And now, <laughs> uh, I was stressing guys, we're six minutes behind. We have to freaking talk to uh, Nigel over here. I'm going to find him in order to reset my account. Uh, wherever Nigel is. <laughs> guys, we can't even find where this guy is. Oh, I found him, I found him. There he is. Okay, uh, how do, how do I, how do I reset my account here, guys? Uh, okay, yeah, yes, there we go. Okay, it's just gonna reset this account, it's like level 30 or whatever, so. Let's go, let's go, oh my gosh. Two weeks of not, uh, freaking, here it goes. Two weeks of everything, guys. Yes, reset everything. <clears throat> Alright, guys, we're going to 3 through 40 worlds. 3 through 50 worlds. Let's see, guys. Uh, the USA worlds are full, actually. No, they're not. Okay, let's go. Oh, snap. Okay, for starters, let's go with the sigil of. Uh, ooh. Plus damage or. Cursing the target. I think I'm gonna just go with the the ranger one or the mage one. Yeah, mage. I don't know. We'll be able to get the other ones later on. So, back. If you don't know, you can open your dead man mood starter pack and get the starter freaking staff. Oh, hold on, let me drop this junk. Ah, oh, dang it! I gotta change my freaking settings. Well, first of all, you want to change your hotkeys here, guys. So, let's go do that. Oh no, the CMM XP rates are extremely buffed, guys. So, I am already freaking almost 20 agility here. Even though we are 6 minutes late because we had to reset our account. I did not know I made a DMM account on this account. You know what I mean, squad. We now have our starter pack. We also have 27 agility already, guys. So, let's get some combat experience, guys. Or, or do you think we should make like a pier or something? Do you think we should make like a pier or something? Listen, you guys get unlimited run energy, guys. So that's awesome, guys. Now, personally, I'm just gonna get 89 agility. <laughs> I really want to get 89 agility, but now we're gonna get some combat XP here. Oh, wait, everybody's starting Grand Tree. So I'm actually gonna copy everybody's strat and start Grand Tree here, guys. Alright, guys, we're gonna train up here a little, get some combat levels. So if you don't know, there's going to be five different finales in this Dead Man Mode tournament, guys. So, five different, like, grand prizes, I think. I'm not sure how they're uh, exactly going to distribute this here, guys. But this is actually very interesting here, guys. Because, hey, you can make a specific build for five different, like, you know, finals here, guys. So I'm not sure if they're going to run them all simultaneously. But theoretically, if they don't, you can enter each and every final with a different account. Children looks like a uh, quest helper is working now, guys. So our fairy rings unlocked. We gotta try to see if they unlock fairy rings because they unlock some quests here. Now again, in the higher brackets, guys, you're gonna have these qu some quests already unlocked, guys. So okay. I think I might max out my account. I don't know, guys. The thing is, Ridgor and Augury are going to cost so much this season, guys. And those are kind of needed in order to win the tournament, guys. I'm not going to lie. Oh, he put me in the freaking thing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Guys, we are already 23 combat. 23 combat, guys. And we're actually almost done with this quest. Almost, almost. We got to go all the way to Karanja, maybe back. I must escape. I must escape. Last time I did this, I was just uh, using the starter staff at Lumbridge, guys. It was, it was really slow. Oh my goodness. Glow has secret invasion plans. We must alert the king about this. That is not good for us, guys. That is not good for us. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Gosh, you guys gotta be quick with the door, guys. You gotta be quick with the door. Zero tick with the door. There, see? They're getting stuck at the door squad. <laughs> ouch, ouch.
for this scary boss battle that we can easily save spot, guys. Shouldn't be that difficult, I believe. Uh-oh. Thankfully, our, our hit points are higher than this demon's max hit. So, we just go to one of these safe spots. There's so many. Oh my gosh. See, see how I'm behind here? How's that, that, how's that not the one I'm supposed to attack, bro? Okay, it's one of these ones. Surely it's one of these ones. Come on now. Okay, we found the one. We found the one we're supposed to get here, Squadron. Now it's slowly but surely we're gonna take this one out. This is the last part of the quest as well. And 31 combat, guys. Let's go complete complete a uh, tree gnome village next, guys. And we'll also complete uh, monkey, monkey madness here, guys. That way, we are adequately, adequately prepared for uh, something I don't know. Because uh, the next bracket, we're gonna have to complete. To, to we're gonna have to pick an auto, a quest to have auto completed here, guys. So, I mean, the 30 through 50 bracket it does sound really fun. It does sound really fun, but you kind of need. Uh, Tree Gnome Village. Now we're gonna go complete Waterfall Quest just in case, like the Elf storyline or something. I don't know exactly, but hey, it's a bunch of XP. And yeah, we have two weeks to just, like, you know, build an amazing account for PKing here, guys. So, with these boost XP rates, I think we'll have fun. Now, I did try to get the Agility X uh, Sigils, and I just can't get them, guys. Uh, freaking. Nobody's selling them in the Grand Exchange, and I really need the Agility Sigils because I'm trying to get. 89 agility guys so okay guys we're gonna buy some of these mithril seeds so we can try to merchant them because why not why not <laughs> guys gonna have to run all the way from the grand tree for the pebble part of this quest i'm just unsure if i want to do agility pyramid or like what guys because like i have no gold so i think and i really don't want to swap this season guys i want to do it swapless you know i'm not a freaking rich player guys so it's gonna be tough for me because I don't have like gold to swap, but we will suffice here. Watch. Waterfall quest as well, squadron. OMG. We are 49 combat. Oh boy. That's fine. That's fine guys. 49 combat already. Let's go do some agility laps. We're trying to get 100k gold and without dying. But first, I think I'm going to grab a teleport and like some stuff so I can defend myself here a little. Okay guys, we just did the agility pyramids, but they didn't even give me the things at the end of the pyramid, so... And then there was someone PK me, so I got really so just angry. But we're doing this thing where we get freaking the things over there, the freaking... The rewards, so... We're gonna get some gold and... Uh, like, literally, all I need is this agility freaking sigil, guys. If anyone has that agility sigil, where you get 10,000 golds on the completion of one agility course, you are freaking amazing, guys. Hey, guys, we're already in the 51 through 70 bracket, guys. Um, dude, we're going to go back to the agility pyramid. Because right now, we're just trying to get that agility sigil right now. That's the hugest thing right now. Uh, I really want... I'm trying to buy it. Like, it won't buy for 10k, so... We're gonna go and see how much how much gold we can get, because we, we we need to get this sigil ASAP. As much gold as we can for like 56 minutes without getting attacked. I hope we can get at least 100k, guys. We need this agility sigil ASAP. That way we can just get gold like it's nothing, guys. So if you have the agility sigil, let me know. But yeah, I've been completing this course without getting this. You guys gotta make sure you get this, guys, and then you get 30k cash. But guys, we're really trying to get those two agility sigils. Those are the, that's, that's our, that's our largest goal. 55 agility, we'll take it. It's going quick, guys. Alright, guys, we already have 210k using our freaking immunity on this freaking agility thing, dude. So here's the plan, guys. We're gonna, 
go to Lumbridge and try to like get one of those agility sigils for like the last five minutes of this because I'm not trying to buy one of those agility sigils for like 200 300k you know uh, but you know I, I just if we I think we have enough for the dragon scimitar and I think we have enough for the quest we're trying to complete so that's it that's very good that's very good oh my gosh look at all these pyramids we have on, on us guys that's 180k in pyramids plus the 210k I'm just unsure on what I should invest in here guys because we won't have immunity in the bank area so agile fortune sigil guys we needed this so much for agility course, agility courses guys so if you guys don't know we get 10k each freaking agility course bam so this is huge alching alking to 50 magic here guys shouldn't, shouldn't take that long <laughs> so i'm scared to go in the non safe zone so i'm just gonna basically well not that was an accident but you get what i mean I'm just burying the bones. We died, but we're just trying to freaking get this monkey madness quest done as quick as possible. Just like everybody else, there's like there's like so many other people. Like I got attacked. I died to the NPC and freaking yeah. Like this is annoying. <laughs> this has been one of the most annoying. Like we died so many times. <laughs> Let me talk for like two or three minutes, guys. We have died so many times during this quest, man. If you're doing it prayerless, please make sure you have a freaking know-how, bro. Because, wow. But we're finally at this, uh, the, the, the... After this, we can go do, like, what we need to do, which is freaking agility and we can train, bro. So, it's huge. Uh, when, when the next immunity hits, I think we're gonna get the Mage Arena cape, because... That is just one of the worst pains to get and yeah like dude this is this has been we have died so much man i wish i could have like you know made a good video out of it because <sighs> we just died so much doing this quest man like i had to go back i, I spent so much all my cash guys look, we died like we died in the the multi cave once twice actually We, get, we died inside the freaking other cave that where you like uh, make the bar we got sent back so many times like oh my gosh dude uh, but thankfully we didn't die to a player guys and yeah this demon's almost finished with it's, been, it's just been so t difficult man but finally we can reap the rewards we've been playing for like 4 hours straight guys so it's good to take a break, guys, because I actually have real life things I got to do, man. <clears throat> but I'm liking how Dead Man Mode is going so far, guys. I'm not going to lie. Especially with this run energy update, uh, we're already 70 agility, so that means we can we're gonna we're gonna basically go for 89 agility. We're going for 89 agility. It's gonna be for that shortcut, guys. So we're gonna take our we're gonna take our extra hours out the day. It's gonna be a while, a lot of extra hours, but it, I think it's worth it, guys. Okay, guys, we made it onto the next bracket. <laughs> now I was gonna end this like halfway in between and go get Majorina one cape, but we're gonna have to wait until next immunity to get Majorina one cape because I had such a struggle getting it last time, and yeah. I'm not gonna make that same mistake for sure for sure so i'll see what i can do i mean i might i might get major in a 2k after i use all my money from uh, doing this pyramid for an hour but that's what i'm using my protection on here I'm playing this super efficiently guys we've been here like 20 minutes and we have like 348k guys <coughs> this is freaking huge let's go let's go hey guys we are on ancients we got 75 agility now we're gonna go ahead and uh, get some portals inside our inside our house, guys. So let's go inside our house. We got build mode on. <coughs> we basically have to spend all this 600k on portals and stuff. Like uh, the houses are expensive to freaking build, guys. Hands down, hands down. Saw and hammer. Oh, I knew I was forgetting something. Jeez. Okay, guys, we are building our finally building our t teleport thing. We had to spend all of our cash for this. But now, if I could find out how to do it, not enough runes. Oh. 
Okay, I was about to say, dude, I had the runes. Let's go bear up first. <clears throat> okay, guys, let's build a Lumbridge and um, Camelot next, guys. But we're, we also got to build another one of these, guys, which is another freaking 100k. So, hey, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. We also need the Camelot. Varrock, Lumbridge, we need the Camelot, guys. There we go. Now, last but not least, we got, we got to spend another 100k to get another one. I think we'll also get a chapel and get our prey of uh, the uh, thingies. Oh, we un we we're already 80 agility, but freaking the Roleca course is not the best XP per hour, guys. Like, because in safe zone, it's just because of one thing. In safe zone, when you run to the end of the from the end of the course to the start of the course, it gives you a bunch of boosts. Like freaking, you know, because every 10 ticks with my sigil, you get a XP boost. But since it's the safe zone, we don't get that XP boost. So with hey, I'm back over here though. It's it's all right though. And now I have high alchemy, so hey, if you have the sigil where you get 10k coins each and every freaking um, Marks of Grace, then you can get 99 magic, 99 agility for free here, guys. Probably make a little bit of profit, so hey. And then you can also just stack it with that one sigil that just uh, gives you extra coins, so, but I just don't have it right now. <laughs> but yeah, guys, 81 agility, 58 magic. Let's go. Okay, guys, I just want to explain how to, like, <laughs> how to out efficiently while doing agility. Either do it as soon as you finish the obstacle is, and then click the obstacle, or right before you click the obstacle and then click the obstacle. So, right here, cast alchemy. Climb. Or, you can cast alchemy and then climb, guys, but there is... You guys don't want to stop because if you stop, you're not gaining XP. So yeah. we're getting we're getting a 843k and 473k magic XP, guys. So woo guys, we are finally done with 89 agility. All for that one revenant cave shortcut, guys. So let's go. We're finally done. Oh, um, yo, the, the the sigils were awesome. We got it done finally, guys. You know, so, super super amazing. And amazing, amazing, right, guys? You know what I mean? So now we have 116k. We out to freaking 76 magic, which means we can use an entangle to entangles to escape. And uh, yeah, like. I have no idea what to do next, like, literally last dead man mode, when I got 89 agility, I kind of just quit after, and I, like, just started merchanting, like, maxing out, like, it was just, <sighs> not the best, um, I kind of quit after that, but, I don't know, guys, should we, like, max out or something, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, guys, just demotivated. Like, uh, let's see, it started, I'm gonna start, like, 12 hours ago. <clears throat> We've been playing for around 12 hours straight. Kinda just no breaks, like, I haven't even had food today, guys. Well, five Avas, guys. Let's go. So, hey, if we die at, like, above the 30 line, we have spare Avas, I think, because I don't think we'll be able to get them back if we die above the 30 line, guys. Let's go. So I saw this from another video, shout out them. Guys, if you want to set your respawn point to the Grand Exchange, uh, tell this guy and you'll be able to set your respawn uh, to Grand Exchange, which is huge, guys, because if you're on like Ancients or something, man, it's going to be super, super bad. <laughs> 